Meet the Ice Climbers. Why play just one character when you can play two? Now of course the catch is you can only control one of them, that being the one on the left, Popo, whereas his sister Nana is a CPU. And when these two are together, Nana will do the same inputs that Popo does, but just on a slight delay. Now of course at high level play you can do some crazy handoff maneuvers and even desync techniques that allow you to control each of the characters individually, when they are together that is. But when these two get separated it's important to remember that sometimes, when Popo is being attacked, Nana will protect her brother. Which brings us to Xanadu Weekly Winner's Semi-Finals, where Azen and Nintendude are both on their last stock, and the winner of this game wins the set. So when Azen gets a grab, it's looking like things could be bad for Nintendude, when we learn that it's important to keep track of both of the Ice Climbers at all times. He's being so safe, got him with an air. He's got to be really careful though, Nintendude can come out of his shield so strong. Oh, oh my that god. that looks so fair. Oh Close. lord have mercy. Oh, he's got a grab. Oh! Ice Climbers are one of the most divisive characters in all of Melee. Even with the wobbling ban, people still hate playing versus these two. But from a viewer perspective, it's moments like these I find exciting and at times unpredictable. They bring unique mechanics to the game that no other character can. And for that reason alone, I think they're a great addition to this game. Just please don't make me play them on ranked anymore.